Well, we hope you're ready for school because it's already started. Uh, but back to the familiar routine of carpools for lots of moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas. Yes, Consumer Reporter Steve Noviello is here to make sure that everyone stays safe and keeps their cool. Yeah, you know, this is our first year doing a carpool products segment, and I have to say I'm very impressed by a lot of the stuff uh, that they've come out with. So not only to keep mom and dad sane, mm -hmm. but keep the kids safe as well. Let's start okay. with this right here. This is a product from Bubble Bum. It's the first ever inflatable booster seat. So there's actually a valve on the side of this here for easy blow up and then right. easy deflate. The entire thing when it's deflated fits into the satchel that's just about this big. You're kidding. So you can actually keep this maybe in an oversized handbag or in the glove box. Um, so you always have an extra one on hand. You don't have to worry about transferring them from car to car. Yeah, it's good for grandparents. And be, yeah, great. And yeah. because there's no armrests on them, you can actually fit three of these safely across in the back seat of a car. As for safety, this was the IIHS best bet in their booster seat category. So a lot of people saying, oh, you know, I'm not really concerned about something that inflates. Right. Apparently very safe as well. And 40, uh, 30 bucks. Right. Wow. And this would be the kids who are a little bit bigger. Yeah, uh, four to 11 years old, 40 to 100 pounds. Okay. Okay. Let's keep the kids organized in the back seat. This I love because again, it's great for when you need it and goes away when you don't. So you expand it. This is the Bubble Bum Junkie, and it's a little catty for the kids. So this would sit in between the two car seats in the oh, back and has all sorts of different <laughs> things. So let's say maybe they're watching a movie. No. You can you know, put the iPad <laughs> here. Maybe they uh, want a little tray table. So these fold out. This is like first class holders? flying, right? Oh, cup, cup holders, holders back here. <laughs> um, an insulated bag that also can fit right in the middle here. And again, the idea that when the kids are done and mom and dad Dad, maybe have date night and go back to being adults. <laughs> right. You can pop this all down and it just <laughs> and closes go. right up. Perfect. Okay. 40 bucks. Love we it. found it at Target. Brilliant. All right. Uh, keeping the kids safe and uh, prepared in the back seat, the buckle, the insertion I, point, this is gets tough. wedged right between <laughs> yeah. the seats or between the upholstery. No more. This is from my buckle mate, okay? And the uh, insertion point for the uh, belt buckle gets inserted up in here, and now this so sits it's easy to find. above, exactly, so okay. it always sits That's above the upholstery line. So this actually snaps in half mm -hmm. and snaps around that half of the belt buckle, and that way, because of the wide base here, it always sits and is always propped up and okay. ready to go. And finally for you, look, I cannot figure out a way to keep Cheerios out of the nooks and crannies of the back seat of the car. I can't do it. What I can do is uh, help you get rid of or prevent scuff marks on the backs of the front seats. Because the little the ones car. are kicking. Absolutely. This is the back seat kick mat. So this is designed to be put on the back of the front seats of your car. So that way when the kids are kicking, everything is absorbed by the surface of the mat as opposed to scuffing the backs of the front of the car. Because sometimes right. those marks are super difficult to get out. I could have used that last time I flew. There was a yeah. <laughs> three-year-old behind me. That was... You're like, I'm just going to put this on the back of my car. <laughs> $17 for that one. So again, safe and affordable links to all these things right now. Uh, Fox4news.com. I've also got links uh, on my Facebook fan page. Awesome. Thank you, you Steve. Thanks.